What's up, painters, and welcome back to Bella Mars Miniatures. I was pretty busy last weekend, so I didn't get any painting done. However, my Votan did win Best Painted at the small tournament I played in, which is awesome. But that means I have no new footage ready to go of painting Games Workshop models. Luckily, I have a fair bit of footage stockpiled away painting models from other games, so I decided, rather than skip putting out a video this week, I'd edit and release one of them. That means today I am painting Blink Blade from the Frosthaven board game. I undercoated this model with grey sear, which is my default undercoat if I'm not using a specific colour for whatever reasons. The first step was using Necromancer Cloak for most of the cloth. I decided I wasn't going to follow the box art for this model. I know which mate is playing what, so I figured I'd paint it more to their tastes. Next was a 50-50 mix of Black Templar Contrast and Contrast Medium. This is a black recipe I'm a pretty big fan of. It gives nice shadows and highlights while still reading as black. And highlights were uniform grey, just hitting the tops and edges that would pick up the light. Then it was on to the next colour. I used Dark Sky for the hood and the skirt slash tassels thing he has. If you don't know about Frosthaven, it's a great game. It's a co-op tabletop RPG that doesn't need a DM. It almost plays like a choose-your-own-adventure book. The decisions you and your mates make during the game change the story and change the direction of your adventures. It's really fun, and if you're a forever DM like I am, it means you don't have to DM and you actually get to team up with your mates for an adventure. And no, I am not sponsored. Next is Blue Tone, just to create some shadows for our blue. Then Ultramarine Blue for the highlights. I focus towards the top of the hood and the top edges of the cloth tassel things. As always, just looking for places the light would hit. Then it was on to the medals. I started with plate nail and used this on the harness thing that he has going around his body. You want to be careful and take your time here as it crosses over the other colours and it's really easy to make a mistake. One thing I will say is if you're used to Games Workshop models, you may find the quality of these models a bit lacking. There are mould errors and issues you'll notice when you start painting them. However, the makers of Frosthaven, uh, Cello Fair, I think I'm pronouncing that right, are a board game company. They're not a miniature company. So it's understandable that they're a bit lower quality. In the end, it doesn't really matter. They still look good painted up on the table, and that's all we care about, really. Next, I used greedy gold to pick out some of the details. The casings holding the gems, the markings on his shoulder, and a couple of other small details here and there. Next is the daggers. I didn't want to do these metal, so I went with more of like a power weapon style, and I started with electric blue. Then from the blunt side of the dagger, I brought in some white. And then along the sharp edge, I just added some dark sky to make it pop. For the handles, I used oak brown. Honestly, I probably should have just used a colour that was already on my palette for this detail, rather than grabbing a new one. Small things like this are one of the reasons painting models often takes me so long. So Blink Blade is this weird little dude that blinks in and out of a fight, doing damage and then just fading away. His body is augmented with this machinery that allows him to alter time. He's a custom race from Frosthaven, and I wasn't really sure what colour their flesh would be, so I just came up with something myself, and I started with Necrotic Flesh. Then, because I still wanted to keep a bit of the fleshy tones in there, I used Flesh Wash over that. And then the highlights were just a 50-50 mix of Necrotic Flesh and White. In the art, it looks like he's got red glowy eyes, so I started with Dragon Red for the eyes. Uh, 
and then just a dot of mythical orange to make them really pop. For the gems, I used Warp Lightning Contrast. This is the point where I realized I'm using a lot of the same colors as I do on my Votan, but he looks very different, and if you put him next to one of my Votan models, you wouldn't pick that it's all, almost all the same colors. And then for the finishing touch on him, I went over the metal and gold with a light wash of dark tone. I wasn't planning on highlighting these any further, so I was careful to make sure there was no pulling and it flowed to where I wanted it. And he looks pretty good, but now it's time to do the base. I had some issues with the base. I knew the sort of effect I was looking for, but I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to achieve it. So it was time to mess around. I started by blocking it all in with alien purple. Around the edges of all the hexagon things and his feet, I did white. I wanted it to almost look like he was stepping through dimensions and the platforms are spawning to give him something to step on. It's a bit hard to explain, but I had a vague idea in my head. Getting it to look decent, that's the challenge though. After doing the white edges, I put alien purple, oozing purple, and white on my palette. Then I just went back and forth between the three of them, trying to get a bit of a blend and find an effect I was happy with. It took a while and a lot of playing around to do, but I did eventually get it to a level I was happy with. Then I came in with black, bringing it almost up to the hexagons to really help it look like they're just spawning out of nothing for him to step on. And it's finished. I had fun with this model and the others I've painted for Frosthaven. Sometimes it's fun to just paint some individual models that aren't part of an army. It gives you a lot more freedom to just come up with a scheme on the fly and just mess around with it. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.